Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just kind of having a play with stuff. I've got one of my tiny little puppy heart molds here um, that I didn't do a very good job of cleaning out because I forgot to do it before I hit the camera. Um, now it's done. And I've got three of my about alcohol inks over here. I've got red copper, bright red, and purple red. And I've got about an ounce and a half of my Fooey Tim one to one. So, what I'm going to do is pour in, and I've been letting this sit for a little bit, just to kind of let it thicken up a little bit and deep bubble on its own, because I didn't want to get out the doodah, the airless. And I'm just going to drop in my colors. This is the red copper. Is kind of in random spots. And purple red. And one of the neighbor's dogs is just barking. And then the bright red. Let those sit for a minute. And then what I thought I would do is with the rest of the resin. I am going to add some pink block. So let's do that. Because I had a few people ask me to do something with the flocking in a shiny mold to see how it turned out. So let's do it. Let's put it in a shiny mold. And it's not going to be all by itself, but you can still see what it looks like in a shiny mold. with little stick holes here and we'll get that mixed in. Just to get it a pinkish hue. You sort of looks like liquid cotton candy. So now that we've got that in there, I'm just going to pour it in the middle until it reaches the top of the mold. And I've got some left over, so pardon my reach. take one of these little cabochons and we'll just fill those in with the pink so we can see what it looks like on its own. And we also just have some fuzzy pink cabochons. <laughs> stir this. I'm not going to swirl it. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to let it do its thing and uh, see what it does. Just let it, you know, sort 
sort of see what it does. Could turn out cool, could not. Who knows? So let me... I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of isopropyl on top just to get rid of the bubbles. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys for next steps. See you soon. All right. Let's get these guys out, see how they turned out. Now you'll see in the smaller uh, pink ones, I added some um, Sinker White uh, just to see if it would uh, react any differently or anything with the uh, flocking in there. So let's get those out and see what happened there. And it really doesn't look like it made too much of a change. It just, you can't really see it, so I think the flock kind of kind of kept those from sinking. But, at least we get to see what it looks like in a shiny mold, yeah? It sort of looks like pink quartz. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. Hang on a second, I'm going to Turn down the light a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Look at that. Yeah, it looks sort of like, looks kind of like pink quartz. It's kind of cool. Pretty nifty. All right, so let's get out the heart. And this, uh, I'm actually really interested to see what it looks like. from the back looks like got some pretty cool you can see this a little clear in there so let's turn it over oh oh wow oh that looks super cool let's see that clear in the middle. Wow, that really looks neat. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm going to have to try this in a flat mold and see see what it looks like there but yeah check it out very cool so let me know what you guys think in the comments i think it looks really cool so yeah that's flocking in a shiny mold. And this one with the uh, alcohol ink underneath it. Very, very awesome. So that, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.